Hello, I'm Renan Erickson, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop from the Adobe Creative Cloud to create an eight-way character animation rendered through HTML DOM elements using CSS Translate 3D, a WebKit transform um, property, and CSS sprite sheets. I've been doing a couple videos on eight-way character animation, and in a previous video I was using Adobe Illustrator from the Creative Cloud to create a sprite sheet that then was rendered through pix pixie.js. And in this um, scenario, I'm going to actually take that exported PNG uh, sprite sheet from Illustrator and import it into Photoshop and use some new features that are present in the updates to Photoshop in the Creative Cloud to give it a little effect. So here I have Photoshop and I have the, the green blog PNG sprite sheet that we generated from Illustrator and there's the new feature in Photoshop is around filters so typically you have a filter and you come down here and you can do something to your image but this is destructive so once I've done it it's always there I can back out in the history but it'd be very nice to be able to add filters multiple filters and then manipulate them uh, differently so I'm going to duplicate this layer first and then I'm going to select the bottom uh, layer and do this new feature called Smart Filters. So Smart Filters uh, allows me to convert a layer into a Smart Filter and now when I apply the filter I can easily come back and turn it off and turn it on, double click on it and actually change it to non-destructive filters. I'm going to go ahead and get the opacity of this down a little bit so we can see through that and then I'm going to add another filter here I'm going to blur this one a little bit give us a nice ghost-like or rustic um, look to our image so that's cool that was quick and easy to do I'm going to save for the web save out my sprite sheet like I normally do and export it to where I want that to go and then for the rendering phase in the HTML, I'm going to use CSS, like I mentioned, and an all DOM image. So I have one div that's a hero, that's going to be my DOM element, and I'm going to apply the image through CSS. So I'm going to use background image, and then the background position to display different frames, and I'm just going to manipulate the class of that div to show um, the 80 pixels by 80 pixels, and then what I'm just going to move the image around in the position uh, to basically kind of show the different frames. So that's pretty straightforward. Here's the CSS sprite sheet. I go ahead and actually create a class for each of those frames. And since I have eight directions with eight, um, each one has eight frames animation, I have um, the appropriate number of classes for that. And then in the JavaScript, what I'm doing is um, I'm taking this technique from Andy Trice uh, blog. You can find the link on the blog post. And he uses uh, jQuery in there, so I'm going to go ahead and use jQuery no, uh, notation here. But I, I create an instance of hero so I can have it around. I set up my mouse events. Um, I set up the win to get the, the height and the scale that I want to set up, set the X and Y of the hero. And then um, here is the transform and the WebKit and using the translate 3D um, property. Now this what this does is um, I'm not setting the Z axis per se, I'm just moving around um, the X and Y but this forces the image to be pushed onto the GPU and hardware accelerated. And then I just go ahead and remove any class and then add the, the actual class, the image of the one I want to show for that frame. And then on the animate, uh, that's, that's just a setup to show something what's sitting there and then as um, my render frame is called I go ahead and actually change the X and Y to keep on are we accelerating and then change the animation frame and the direction based upon the mouse movement. So the mouse movement is the same from my previous JavaScript example. I just um, find the angles and set it and I set the hero direction so now on the enter the render frame it can change the frame that need be. So pretty straightforward all using HTML, CSS, uh, not explicitly using Canvas MapGL but it is hardware accelerated and then using Photoshop and a new feature in Photoshop uh, in the Creative Cloud called Smart, Smart Filters to create this eight-way um, eight character animation. And uh, thank you.